All right guys, hi, it's Nate with Tie-Dyed Iguana here. We got our animal shipment in, um, and I'm gonna go over what we got in today. First on the list, uh, crocodile geckos. I believe we got two more in. One sitting back up there, actually, and then the other one's on the log there. Don't know where the third one went, but there are three in there. All right guys, next on the list, Indonesian white tree frogs. We got, I don't know how many, not sure exactly how many we got in, but we did get quite a few in. We've got one back here, and then there's another one sitting over on the log that Heather found just a minute ago, and I didn't see it at first, but she found it. All right, guys, up next on the list is our gold day, or I'm sorry, our gold dust day gecko. Uh, pretty small little guy or girl, but nonetheless, very beautiful in colors. All right, guys, now we got our Australian white tree frog. Uh, these guys are smaller, they're babies. So we got one sitting, I'm not gonna touch it, but we got one sitting right here. There was another one, he's back over here, he's kind of hiding. We did get a few of those in, but like I said, they are real small, so it's gonna be kind of hard to find all of them for you guys, but at least we can get a good shot of that one right there. So next on the list is our Indonesian tree boa. We just got these guys back in. It's been a while since we've had them, but they are awesome. They are docile guys. They are very beautiful. Now anybody, these are interesting too, if anybody wants one and can take them eating lizards. That's primarily what they'll feed on. I know Did you guys know you can make snake jewelry? Yeah. Watch this. Look at that. Exactly, yeah. It's gonna be my snake jewelry. No one will even know. Nope, I don't know, you gotta take it home. All right, let's go. Look how beautiful it is. <laughs> All right guys, next here is our Schneider skink. As you can see, he's a pretty good sized, healthy skink. Very, very, calm and chill. Very nice orange. As you can see, he's just gonna be really chill. Next on our list is our panther geckos. I did go through here to find you guys one. Oh, it was on my finger, he just jumped off. Moved my hand out the way so Heather can get a shot of it there. Awesome patterns on them. Yeah, they, we got three of these guys in. They all have awesome patterns, they're all different. All right guys, next for me to show you on the list is our Pac-Man frog, a regular green Pac-Man frog. It's not gonna be hard for Heather to find this guy. He's sitting right up there by his water bowl. He's been sitting there all day on me like, hey, what's been going on, man? I fed him and gave him water and he's still just saying, all right, thanks for taking care of me. I'll sit right here and watch you guys all day. All right guys, next here I got is a, our apricot Pueblin milk snake. As you can see, it's very beautiful colors. Yes, little hyper. Settling down just a little bit, but still gonna be on that hyper side until he gets some handling and gets worked with, but they are very, very docile once they do get enough handling. As you can see, he's calmed down now since he sees I'm not a threat. All right guys, next I got for you is we got a restock in on our corn snakes, the snow and the corn snake uh, butter. I'm gonna see if I can find some for you. And oh, uh, thank you, my, my animal camera manager, Jenny just told me, and we got the, Corn snake Andries, we just got to restock in on those as well. Um, so let's see if we can find one of them and show you guys. Oh, here we go, guys. There's an Andry, small little guy. Now he's gonna be a little feisty too. Now they all do look, I think, similar as far as the markings go. As you can see though, it's very, very pretty with the pattern. And as you can see, he's calmed down too since he sees I'm not a threat. All right guys, after a bunch of digging in the cage to find one with the two ghosts, with the one that's active, I did find us a snow. This one is not as bright as we've had in the past, but it still is a good coloration. It's not as um, pink as we've got them before, but still a very beautiful snake. All right guys, and last and not, last with the corn snakes are the butters. As you can see, they are very, that one's got stripes. All right, guys. Didn't take me long to find this guy, but we do have a black and white king snake for you. As you can see the pattern, he is very, very, very beautiful snake. And it's very chill, which is great. All right, guys, we did get in another Anry on the Kenyan sand boas. As you can see, that pattern on this snake is very, very gorgeous. Very well patterned. 
All right, guys, next on the list that I got for you guys is our African Fat Tail Gecko. We just got these guys back in stock here as well. As you can see, these guys are very, very gorgeous and beautiful. They are all three very well different patterns. Here's the first little one. Very, very traditional banded like your most normal geckos. This one has got some of it, but it does have that stripe that's going down the back, which I think is very cool and unique. And you can see that they do get their name from being African Fat Tail because their tails at the end are really, really plump and fat, which means they are nice and healthy. Next that I have for you guys is a striped knee tarantula. We did get this guy in, uh, brand, I don't know if it's brand new, but brand new first thing, get back in stock as I should say. All right guys, that's all for we, uh, the shipment that we got in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are interested, come check them out. See you guys in the next one. I'm gonna pass it on to Eric for the fish. All right, guys. Let me show you some of the fish that we also got in today. Got some baby angels. Well, not baby, young angels, I should say. Um, something we haven't had in a while. And then along with that, I got in a really cool new pleco. Uh, it's called a bluefin thresher. Pretty awesome fish. Kind of a newer pleco species for us to carry. We did get in a lot of nice glowfish quarries and glowfish sharks this week. Um, some of the pink glowfish sharks that came in are huge. Huge for, you know, just being ordered in, not like old and grown up. So pretty awesome there. Oh, and I did get in some uh, albino clawed frogs as well. Very popular one here lately. So got some new ones of those. We got in a lot of betas. So definitely come check out our betas all over the place in here. got in a bunch more uh, black coolie loaches. We have some regular coolie loaches. Some stuff came in for over here that's pretty awesome. Got in, uh, we have some more candy cane tetras. Got in a few more brilliant razabaras, which at first I wasn't unsure if I liked them, but I'm definitely, definitely liking them more and more the more we have them. And down here, Something that has been very hard for me to get in, but I, they came in kind of small, but they're red terror cichlids. My favorite of all of the South American cichlids, they're gorgeous. Right now they're young, so they're not in their full color, but these guys, as they mature, are definitely showpieces in a South American tank, for sure. So kind of hoping they don't sell, so I get to watch them grow big, but I'm sure they'll leave before then. So out of everything we got, it's primarily all my highlights this week, guys. So come on in, check it out, and uh, hopefully we have something you like.